fungi are multicellular organisms that are plant-like in appearance. However, unlike plants, they are incapable of photosynthesis because they lack chloroplasts. They have to absorb nutrients from other living organisms or decaying organic matter for them to obtain their nutrients. Similar to algae, their bodies are described as a thallus because their root-like and stem-like structures lack vascular tissue. Mycology is the study of fungi. Good day everyone! I am Mom Jenny, your science teacher. Come and join me in studying the diversity among kingdom fungi. On this video lesson, we will talk about the diversity among fungi. Characteristics of fungi Fungi are eukaryotic, nonvascular, nonmotile, and heterotrophic organisms. When we say eukaryotic, these are organisms with membrane-bound nuclei, nonvascular because they do not have vascular bodies, and non-motile since they are not moving or they do not move. They may be unicellular or filamentous. They reproduce by means of spores. Fungi exhibit the phenomenon of alternation of generation. Fungi lack chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment that is used by plants to trap light energy coming from the sun that is needed in food making process known as the photosynthesis. Because of this, fungi cannot perform photosynthesis. The structure of fungi can be explained in the following points. Number one, almost all the fungi have a filamentous structure except the yeast. Cells. Number two, they can be either single-celled or multicellular organism. Number three, fungi consist of long thread-like structures known as hyphae. These hyphae together form a mesh-like structure called mycelium. So this is the hyphae and this is the mycelium. Fungi possess a cell wall which is made up of cheating and polysaccharides. The cell wall comprises protoplast, which is differentiated into other cell parts such as cell membrane, cytoplasm, cell organelles, and nuclei. Number six, the nucleus is dense, clear, with chromatin threads. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. Classification of fungi Kingdom fungi are classified based on different modes. The different classification of fungi is as follows. Based on mode of nutrition On the basis of nutrition, kingdom fungi can be classified into three groups. One is saprophytic. The fungi obtain their nutrition by feeding on dead organic substances. Examples are rhizopus, penicillin, and aspergillus. Rhizopus is a fungi found on decaying or rotten tomatoes. Penicillin is a microscopic species of fungi. And aspergillus is found on decaying corn or corn cob. Number 2. Parasitic. The fungi obtain their nutrition by living on other living organisms, plants or animals, and absorb nutrients from their host. Examples are Tephrina deformans, which causes deformation on the leaves of the plants, and Puccinia. Number 3. Symbiotic. These fungi live by having an interdependent relationship associated 
collaboration with other species in which both are mutually benefited. Examples, lichens and mycorrhiza. For mycorrhizae, lichens are the symbiotic association between algae and fungi. Here, both algae and fungi are mutually benefited as fungi provide shelter for algae, and in reverse, algae synthesize carbohydrates for fungi. Next type of classification is based on spore formation. Kingdom fungi are classified into the following based on the formation of spores. Number one is zygomycetes or zygomycota. These are formed by the fusion of two different cells. The sexual spores are known as zygospores, while the asexual spores are known as sporangiospores. The hyphae are without the septa. Number two, ascomycetes or ascomycota. They are called as sac fungi. They can be coprophilus, decomposers, parasitic, or saprophytic. The sexual spores are called ascospores. Asexual reproduction occurs by conidiospores. So we have here an example which is saccharomyces or yeast. And we have this morchella, the true morels. These distinctive fungi have a honeycomb appearance due to the network of ridges with pits composing their cups. Morels are prized by gourmet cooks, particularly in French cuisine. The third one is the basidiomycota or basidiomycetes. Mushrooms are the most commonly found basidiomycetes and mostly live as parasites. Sexual reproduction occurs by basidiospores. A sexual reproduction occurs by conidia, by budding or fragmentation. So we have here an example, the fly agaric mushroom. We also have here the inoki mushroom and the agaricus mushroom. Next, we have the Euteromycetes or the Euteromycota. They are otherwise called the imperfect fungi as they do not follow the regular reproduction cycle as the other fungi. They do not reproduce sexually. A sexual reproduction occurs by conidia. Example is the Trichoderma. So, this is the summary of the four groups of fungi based on their reproductive structures. For zygomycota, the reproductive structure is called the zygospores, ascospores for ascomycota, and the basidiospores for basidiomycota. Whereas the oteromycota or the imperfect fungi has no sexual phase or has no form of sexual reproduction. Fungi, the good and the bad. The good. Fungi play a crucial, if not the most important, role in our ecosystem. Fungi degrade living and dead trees and the leaf litter on the forest floor. There would be no soil without fungi. There are many species of fungi that provide health benefits. Fungi have been found to boost immune systems, support the nervous system, and help regulate blood pressure and cholesterol. Mycorrhizal fungi form symbiotic relationships with most species of trees and plants. These species of fungi mine nutrients for the plant in return for sugars. The fungi increase the surface area of the roots, which increases the available water that can be taken up by the tree. In what is perhaps kingdom of fungi's greatest and most important function is their ability to sequester carbon. Fungi decompose fallen trees and feed on their wood. The fungi retain the carbon and when they die, they form part of the soil structure which again retains the carbon within the soil. The bad. Fungi create harm by spoiling food, destroying timber, and by causing diseases of crops, livestock, and humans. Fungi, mainly mold-like penicillium and aspergillus, spoil many stored foods. Fungi cause the majority of plant diseases which in turn 
cause serious economic losses. There are many species of fungi such as the infamous death cap and the Amanita muscaria, amongst others, that are poisonous and deadly when consumed. The poison fire coral, a Japanese species of fungi, was recently discovered in Queensland. This species of fungi, when consumed, can cause organ failure and brain damage. At this point, let us summarize what we have learned. Fungi are multicellular plant-like organisms that are heterotrophic and spore-bearing. They differ in plants because they lack chlorophyll and they have chitinous cell wall. At this point, let us check your understanding. Number 1. What is the most important role that fungi provide to an ecosystem? A. Producers B. Decomposers C. Predators D. Autotrophs Number 2. What phyla do the zygote fungi belong to? A. Zygomycota B. Basidiomycota C. Deuteromycota the Ascomycota. Number 3. How do fungi eat? A. By hunting insects. B. By photosynthesis. C. By decomposing matter or eating of their hosts. D. None of the above. Number 4. What type of fungi is used to help make bread rice? A. Molds B. Mushroom C. Puffballs D. Yeast Number 5. How are fungi useful to humans? A. Some fungi can be eaten such as mushrooms and truffles B. They break down organic matter so it can be reused by the nutrient cycles. C. Some fungi can be used to make bread rice. Letter D. All of the above. Alright, let us have the answers. Number 1. Number 2. Number 3. Number 4 and number 5. Thank you for watching this video lesson. Please watch out for the next topic which has something to do with the diversity of plant kingdom.